Bienvenidos, me llamo Luis Valenzuela, voy a ser el chef de hoy. Uh, welcome to our Spanish uh, class today. My name is Luis Valenzuela, I'm going to be your chef for today. Um, what we're going to be working today is one of my favorite recipes. We're going to be stuffing dates with manchego cheese, marcona almonds, um, we're going to wrap them with double smoked bacon, we're going to bake them and then we're going uh, to pan sear them and then we're going to bake them. The cheese, the manchego cheese gets uh, soft and the crunchiness and the saltiness of the marcona almonds which are beautiful and the, an interesting note about marcona almonds, most people think that they are almonds or they're related to the almonds but they're actually closer related to that macadamia nut than they are to the almonds and they're sweet. They are grown all over the Mediterranean basin but Spain is by far the most famous country that produces this. Um, then manchego cheese of course you know, there's no other cheese, I think, in the world that could represent a country better than Manchego does. I wanted to show you guys this. The rind of this Manchego, which is a little bit yellowish, and the Manchego seems a little soft, is because it's three months old. Manchego has different uh, aging process. It's three months old, six months old, 12 months old, all the way to 24 months old. We have here a six month old, you can see the rind, it's a little yellowish, the cheese is a little soft, and then you can see the rind here, a little darker, the flesh of the, of the manchego cheese a little, a little harder, right? Uh, of course, the older the manchego, the more pronounced the flavor would be, and the manchego is made out of sheep's milk, uh, which is also good to know, uh, because we're gonna be trying different cheeses on this during this series. So now, what we're gonna do, and I tell you this is one of my favorite recipes, not only because of the manchego and the almonds, because of these beautiful fruits. Dates are also uh, very important in the, in the southern part of Spain, northern part of Africa, and, and they're used in many different uh, stews and desserts and breads. But this is probably my favorite way of, of eating this. Now, this simple, beautiful fruit takes anywhere from 40 to 80 years from the moment you plant it, you know, from the moment you plant the seed, 80 years, think about this for a second, for the seed to become a palm tree, for you to have these dates. So what this means is like someone planted these dates for this very moment, for all of you guys to have uh, uh, without even knowing you. Um, that I think is very special when you think about someone else thinking of you without knowing you. You mix this with manchego cheese, and almonds, it is a pear made in heaven. So what we're gonna do with this, right, I'm gonna remove the pits, and I already previously cut my manchego cheese into little batonets. I'm gonna stuff my manchego with my cheese. I'm gonna grab a piece of uh, marcona almonds. If you never had marcona almonds, you haven't, I mean, it is unlike any other nut you'll ever had. It's sweet. It has that crunchiness, that uh, almost plumminess from, the, from that uh, um, macadamia nut. It is, it is, and the sweetness of it with the, the saltiness uh, uh, on the skin is just phenomenal. So anyways, once you stuff your, your, um, your date, when I wrap the date on a blanket of double smoked bacon, you can use whatever bacon. As I said before, the recipes that I'm providing for you, they're just mere guides to create something. A beautiful part, a beautiful component of Spanish, of the American cuisine is they use very, um, they use very few ingredients and you put them together. This is the idea that I have to present this dish for you. But you can perhaps use, instead of manchego, use a cabra vino, or use a, an iberico uh, uh, cheese, or use a very soft cheese as well, right? Or use a regular bacon as opposed to as as double smoked bacon or, or just smoked bacon. It all depends on why you feel, how you like it, uh, but it's something that you're gonna be acquiring as you, as you are progressing in your culinary journey. So once again, I'm just gonna open one more for you guys to see. Very careful with your knife, just a little slit. Remove the seed. We add the manchego. Um, note about manchego, my favorite manchego um, is actually young manchego. 
Uh, three year old manche three months old manchego is a little soft. When I bake these, uh, the manchego becomes a little more gooey. The older the manchego, the less of that um, humidity or the, the, the liquid content, the water content would have. So therefore, it does not make it very uh, nice for, for uh, melting, right? So I previously built some of my dates. Remember, stuffed with three months old manchego, marcona almonds, wrapped with bacon, and now we're ready to sear them. Now, we're going to go and cook the dates. Just a little bit of oil, alberquina, as I said, my, my oil of choice. You don't want this to be smoking or anything like that, and you just want a little bit. I'm going to start placing my dates one at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Because maybe this is the pan that I'm going to be uh, serving them on. So that's the reason why I'm, cut, um, I'm, cut, I'm cooking it on this cast iron. Small piece. The fat will render right there, so I don't have to add more oil at the end. I just have to kind of um, baste them. A bit of salt at the end, and they're just going to be perfect. Just in a minute, I'm going to put the third. Right. Beautiful, look at that. Let's see. You see the color? It's getting a little darker, like golden brown almost. Right? That's what you're looking for. You don't want to keep moving them back and forth, but you see it's getting a little darker right here. That's what you're looking for. So the bacon starts um, basically searing. You want to sear it right on the seam so the bacon stay together and you, otherwise it'll open up. But look, the smell of the fat is just is very, very beautiful. And don't worry if the bacon becomes a little dark, it's okay. It's part of the, it's part, I think the, the caramelization of the dates, the sugar that the dates have will also make the bacon just slightly darker, so it's okay. It's not gonna taste anything bad, as long as the bacon is not burnt, of course. And remember that after we sear them, we're gonna throw them in the oven for about maybe five to 10 minutes the most. Let's see these, that's a little bit more oil. Beautiful, look at this. Perfect, look at this. Now these points. Now at this point I'm gonna throw them in the oven, but I just want I just want you to take a look at this, eh? So my bacon, my dates are completely uh, seared. The the color of the bacon is very nice, you know, it's crispy. Might need a little bit on that, more on that side, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep that side of the dates touching the pan, and the rest goes into the oven, and then we're just ready to try them. So now, look at our beautiful, beautiful bacon. Uh, very, very nicely seared. Our dates. <sighs> I wish you guys could smell this. Delicious. I'm gonna start skewering them. You can, of course, serve the dates with manchego and marcona almonds just like this in the middle of the table with your friends and family. You can pl plate it. I really like little baguettes, and then you can just stuff them on the baguettes and put them like that in the middle of the table. And then after that, um, you just split the bread, and then you eat it like that, which is delicious. But I just want to show you how does the date looks like from within. Can you see that? Delicious, eh? Take a look at this. Huh? 
So that's the cheese coming out of it. And now I'm just going to slice it. And I want you guys to see how that looks like. So the cheese is melting. You have the almond right here. The sweetness of the dates are right here. And then you have the beautiful smoky part from the bacon, right? It's a delicious dish. Anyways, I would finish this with a little bit of mild and salt. And that's it. And you know what? Let's not forget when we're in Spain, a bit of olive oil. Just a little bit is never too, too much. Look at that. Delicious. Okay.